and hello everyone welcome back to another NIM tutorial so in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at user input I said multiple times in the past that user input is one of my most enjoyed parts of programming it's actually what got me into programming so let's just jump right in what is your name sir and then we can get the user input and immediately store it inside of a variable so let's go let name is a string and here we're using let because we don't want to change the user input later on if you want to modify the user input in that variable then you can make this a var but in our case we're using let since why would we want to change the user name anyhow we're going to say read line and from the standard input stdin and this will get the user input from the standard input we can now say echo your name is name all right let's check it out if we were to say num r main dot name what is your name it is nick your name is nick as easy as that. One of the best things about them is just how easy a lot of the things are. Now, another cool thing that you might want to do is let's say you want to get someone's date of birth, like their year. Then you could do something such as when were you born? And here we could do something such as date of birth. And we don't need to specify exactly what type it is. We can get read line standard input, but then we can say parse int. And remember, to use parse int, we need to import strutils. And here we could say you are 2022. Well, it's almost 2023, so let's make that 2023 minus date of birth, years old. There we go, now we can get someone's age. Now if I were to go here, we could say, when were you born? I was born in 2002. I'm 21 years old. And that would be correct for 2023. Just an example of how you can just modify it with a few extra steps. So here you can get int, so like an integer as user input instead of a string. Because read line will always get a string from user input whilst parse in will just convert that string into an int for us. You might want to do some checking here because of course, if I were to say else, then I'll get an error, but that is for a later tutorial. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all again in the next NIM tutorial.